Congratulations, you got the girl. Even if you don't believe in a higher power, let's be honest. You know heaven and earth were moved. Or at least a few hundred swipes. For better or for worse, you already have a honey-do list. So here's your ultimate guide to groom responsibilities. Hi, my name is Carly and I am the owner of Enrolled Engagements, which is a wedding planning and day of coordination company. Today I am here to talk to you guys about the ultimate guide to the groom's responsibilities in wedding planning. Ultimately, your guys' wedding should be planned between the two of you. There are four major topics that the two of you guys should decide together. That is the budget of your guys' wedding, the guest list, the venue, and the overall vibe that you guys are going for. The very first thing before anything else, you two should sit down and decide the budget that you are both comfortable and willing to pay for your guys' wedding. Next, you guys need to sit down and really talk about who you guys want to invite and who you guys don't want to invite to your wedding. The venue is ultimately the largest vendor that you guys will book and is a determining factor for a lot of things in your wedding that most couples don't recognize. Your venue is going to determine the date of your wedding, the maximum number of guests that you guys can have, who can and cannot be your caterer, and who can and cannot be your bar service. It is also going to be the vibe and the overall ambiance of your wedding. With that being said, you two want to agree on the vibe. Do you guys want to get married downtown in a big city? Do you guys want to get married in the country? Do you guys want a summer wedding, a fall wedding, a winter wedding? Are you guys going for something really casual and laid back or something a little bit more formal and black tie? All of these things should tie into both of your guys' personalities and really show who you two are as a couple. And with that, it'll make planning the smaller details of your wedding a lot more fun. Traditionally, there are a few tasks that fall into the responsibility of the more masculine partner. These tasks being that person chooses the bar and the kind of drinks that will be served throughout the night and typically choose the music for the evening as well. Whoever is the more spiritual one out of the two of you should kind of take the reins of finding the officiant and interviewing a couple, and whoever is the more foodie of the two of you should take on the responsibility of setting up the different food tastings with all different caterers. However, both of you guys should be present at all of the meetings, ask a lot of questions, and be there for one another. The best way to be supportive is to be present. It is each of your guys' responsibilities to decide who you want to be your bridesmaids and groomsmen and to ask them. On the morning of your wedding, if you're going to go golfing or get brunch with all of your groomsmen, it is a really nice gesture to invite your spouse's dad along with other important male family members to them. But your sole responsibility is to make sure that you and your groomsmen are ready and on time and looking sharp and ready to be supportive of the two of you guys for the entire day. Also, if you decided to write a nice note to your significant other or buy them a gift, this is the perfect time to send it to their getting groom and to make their morning extra special. At the reception, it is your time to shine and to play host. It is a great opportunity during dinner for you to get up and go table to table and say hi to everybody for coming. At the end of toast, it is absolutely amazing if you take the mic and you thank everybody for coming and everybody who helped make the day happen. Don't forget to thank your spouse for all of the hard work that they did. Also, getting on the dance floor during your mother's son is the time to shine, but don't disappear off the dance floor right away. Make sure you take the time to have fun and to dance with the bridesmaids on the dance floor and to dance with your new mother-in-law. Traditionally, it is the groom's responsibility to plan the honeymoon. However, this has gone out of style and not necessarily a thing. So I really recommend sitting down with your partner and deciding how you guys want to go about this. Whether you do it the exact same way you planned your wedding and you guys both take on certain different responsibilities or if the groom predominantly does plan it. I know that this seems like a lot, but I promise your responsibilities are coming to the end. However, your final responsibility is to help your partner write all of the thank you notes to everybody who came to the wedding. Wedding day blues is a real thing, so make sure you make it a fun date night and write your guys' thank you notes over a glass of wine. With that, that is your ultimate guide of the groom's responsibilities when it comes to planning your wedding. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.